These stunning graphics were recently screened at the SIGGRAPH Computer Animation Festival in Los Angeles, California. But they're not just a pretty show, they're actually modeling vortices with greater detail than ever before. The interesting thing is the combination of state-of-the-art simulations and the corresponding physics and then the visualization of this data. Using techniques from graphics like um, volume rendering, you're able to see all the structure uh, of, of the vortices in a ways that we have never been able to, to, to look at before. So far, Petros Komutsakos and his team at ETH Zurich have been modeling two different kinds of vortices. This animation replicates a vortex of smoke, like when a smoker blows a smoke ring. Another simulation shows vortex tubes, like those produced by air turbulence over a plane's wing as it takes off. These animations could help scientists better understand how vortices evolve and become unstable. You want them to be destroyed because you want aircraft, uh, if possible, to have higher angle of attack when they uh, take off, uh, so they can get out of the atmosphere and pollute less. Uh, you also want to destroy them so that you can minimize the time that the falling aircraft is um, needed in order for it to take off. If the flow of a vortex is interrupted, it can become unstable and disperse. These simulations show how this happens and can be applied far beyond the study of airplane dynamics. It may sound crazy, but a little variation, the same code we use to do aircraft wakes, we use it also to study cancer. We try to, to study how, for example, you can, you can get blood vessels to grow and to transport blood to tumors. And it may sound very ad hoc, but really the numerics that you develop and the methods uh, are, can be used in a very interdisciplinary way. 